Let's review the interface of new Adobe Dimension 4. Home is where you can create or open documents, where you can get started creating new projects or open recent files. You will also find links to useful resources. Access Share to find the most common export and publish workflows. Access Learn to find both in-app and web-based learning resources. Design Mode, Render Mode and the home page are all accessible from the main navigation bar. Each mode makes different interface elements available. Like panels, menus, and the viewport. Switch between design mode and render mode. Mode split the app into different functional areas with tools and UI for that task. The document name displays in the navigation bar, with a asterisk symbol for unsaved changes. Design mode is where you do the majority of your editing. Here you can add content, arrange it, edit properties, and set up your compositions. The Assets panel provides access to the starter assets and creative cloud libraries. The toolbar contains tools to interact with scene content. It is also where you access the Assets panel and Render Settings panel. The viewport is a large area in the center of the application window. In design mode, this is where you interact with scene content using tools. The viewport control bar manages the render engine, active camera, and viewport settings. The scene panel provides an overview of everything in your current scene. This includes models, the environment, cameras, and lights. The Actions panel is contextual and displays actions for the current selection. The Properties panel is contextual and displays properties for selected objects. This is where to manage deep control of scene content. Render mode is where you can export final quality rendered images. The Render Settings panel sets the active render engine and settings. Control the quality of what you see in the viewport and final renders. Render settings are shared between modes. The viewport is the large area in the center of the application window. In render mode, the viewport shows the final rendered images at pixel accurate size. The render settings panel sets the active render engine and settings. Control the quality of what you see in the viewport and final renders. Render settings are shared between modes. The Export Settings panel sets which cameras to export, and the format and save location. The Render Status panel shows the status of renders as they complete.